Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to introduce you to the advanced filtering capabilities in Excel. I'm going to show you how to write and apply criteria so that you can extract the information that you need from an Excel data sheet. Now many Excel users are already familiar. They're already using Excel's auto filters. So if you come across an Excel worksheet that has these drop down arrows next to the field labels, then you have the auto filter in place. In addition to the auto filter, you can create custom filters. You can use the advanced filter. What you first want to do, a best practice, is to insert several blank rows above your data set. Next, what you want to do is copy over the labels that you have for your uh, data set. And the easiest way to do that is to use the formula equals the cell that contains the label for that column in the data set. This way if I change the spelling my label for the criteria will reflect the label for the data set. Next we're going to use blank rows underneath that to establish the criteria. So if I want to apply a criteria which will select in the customer field all of those records where the value is Alpha Beta Corporation or where all the values are ABC conglomerate, I will do it this way. Select one cell in your data set. In Excel 2007, go to the Data tab of the ribbon. In the Sort and Filter group, choose Advanced. What you see over here is an advanced filter dialog box. Now notice that in addition to filtering the list in place, we can extract it. We can copy it to another location. I'm going to do this a little later on in the lesson. So our list range is the data list and the data list is in defined as including the labels for the data. Now let's understand the criteria range over here. Let's cross this out here. What we want to select for the criteria is the labels for the criteria as well as the rows that contain the values that were or the formulas that we're using for our criteria. So in this case from A1 through I3. We're going to filter this list in place, click OK, and there you go. We have records that are either part of the Alpha Beta Corporation or they're part of the ABC conglomerate. Now we could get the same result using auto filters. In this case, using the drop down next to the customer field will deselect all of the records and will choose alpha beta and will choose the ABC. So when we make these selections, we're saying either the record belongs to ABC or it belongs to alpha beta. So now I have the same result. Now let me show you the difference between an OR criteria and when we use OR criteria we put the values on separate rows. In this case I'm going to use the AND filter. In this case what I want to do is, and I'm going to copy unpaid and place that in status, on the same row as the Alpha Beta Corporation I'm putting that the status is unpaid. So now instead of OR filters I'm using an AND filter to say give me the records where both conditions are met. In the customer field the value is equal to Alpha Beta Corporation. In the status field the value is equal to unpaid. Select a single cell, data tab on the ribbon, advance, the filter remains in place. Uh, the list range is okay, but let's examine the criteria. You see from our last uh, filter, we went down to row three. Watch what's going to happen if we do that. If we were to select down to row three, we would have a blank row. That would tell Excel, well, give me all the records. So a blank row confuses Excel. So we want to make sure that we select all of the rows that contain the labels as well as the criteria, but only those rows. In other words, no blank rows for the criteria. Now, when we click OK, we have not all of the records for the Alpha Beta Corporation, only those records that the status is unpaid. So there we've used the AND filter. 
all right let's remove this now let's go back here and take another look at the auto filters in Excel 2007 Excel 2010 I find that I don't have to use the advanced filter as frequently as before and that's because there are some really cool really great date filters so before I would have to use advanced filter if I wanted to see only those values where it was in a particular month a quarter next year next month etc those are already built in starting in Excel 2007 but there are many other reasons that I want to use use the advanced filter for example to produce records where I'm using a calculated field so in this case I'm going to get rid of both of those values that I just filtered on and let's come over here what I want to do is I want to create a formula that will return a value of true or false and I want to give a label for this calculated criteria that is not a label that is already in the data set what I want to see are the records that were paid late. In other words, they were paid, so they're not blank, they're not marked as unpaid. They were paid, but they were paid after the due date. So let's take a look at this formula over here. I'm using a logical formula which will return either true or, or false. So the if function, the logical test is using the is blank function. So is blank G9. G9 over here is the first cell in the date paid field. So I want to come in and say, if it's blank, return the value true. If not, return false. So over here, the logical test, what I want to do is I'm going to trick Excel. Yes, I want to go through and find those blanks, meaning that they're unpaid, but I'm going to trick it and say, use the false when you find a record that's true just return the value false because what I really want to see are those records where the date paid was later or greater than the date that they were due. All right, let's show you how this works. So again, single cell selected, data tab on the ribbon, sort and filter, advanced. We're going to filter in place. The range is correct, but we want to change the criteria. The criteria will be the label for the computed field as well as the formula that we're using to return true or false. So filter in place, apply the criteria, click OK, and now you see that this, re this uh, invoice was paid. It was paid on October 3rd, which is later than its due date. So there was a great little formula to use. If logical test is blank, but trick it into, instead of returning the value true, return false, because what we really want to see are the fields uh, or the, the records where the date that it was paid is later than or greater than the date that it was due. All right, finally, let me show you another way that we can use the advanced filter what I want to be able to do is extract a list of uh, customers so let's return using the auto filter so come back and put the auto filter back on and when I click in the customer field here's a list of my customers well I'd like to have that so you can't do that with the auto filter what we want to do is use the advanced filter so here's how we do it first off I have named a field over here called customer so let's come into the name box and over here notice that when I name customer I included the label that's going to be an important element over here so now let's come over here and choose the advanced filter what I want to do is I want to select unique records only and I want to copy them to another location the list range in this case I don't want the entire data set remember I named a range so I will use the F3 keyboard shortcut and select customer now I don't have to apply any criteria that's the 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 list over here is going to be from the customer name unique records only will be my criteria when I want to copy it to another record well I would really like to have it come over here onto a blank worksheet so now I'll select the cell over here click OK and you see that it's going to tell me that I can only copy it to the active sheet so I'll select the cell over here and say copy it to that 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 location so once again I'll come back advanced unique records only the list range will not be the entire data set it's going to be customer and I don't need criteria but where I want to copy it to copy to another location will be B2 
beginning over here. Click OK and there you go. Now what's important when you are copying unique records is that if you're going to make a selection or create the name make sure that the name includes the label. Now there is a way actually to get that customer list on a separate worksheet and let me show you how to do it. This time I'm going to begin on a blank worksheet and now I go up to data advanced and I want to copy to another location the unique records that belong to the customer field. So from my name list, customer, no criteria is necessary. And where I want to copy it to is on sheet 2 in this case at cell A1. So the gotcha step there is if you want to have it copied to a separate sheet, begin your filtering on a blank worksheet, then retrace advanced and follow through uh, your, your other steps as I showed you. So there you've seen how to take advantage of the advanced filtering capabilities in Excel. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.